subtle lying. Genesis 3, 5. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. I identify the same behavior characteristics and patterns of our enemy, the devil, and the false prophets represented in the role described in the book of Proverbs of the whore, a strange woman, when it comes to hunting for the precious life and flattering with much fair speech. Proverbs 6.26 For by means of a whorish woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread, and the adulteress will hunt for the precious life. Proverbs 2.16 To deliver thee from the strange woman, even from the stranger which flattereth with her words. Proverbs 2.21 With her much fair speech she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips she forced him. Truly the Lord desires for us to see flattery as a deceitful net of deceit. The Lord wants us to consider and realize that there are intentions to entrap a person which go along with the act of flattery. Proverbs 29, 5 A man that flattereth his neighbor spreadeth a net for his feet. Truly a net of deceit was spread by our enemy Satan, tricking our first parents as flattery combined with false speech was employed to achieve his destructive purpose. Using crafty flattery surrounded by false speech is one of the chief ways the father of lies draws into imprisonment the prideful, unsuspected fallen. The only way to not be taken by our enemy is by recognizing the tactics of our enemy, which is to use everything in opposition to the Lord's way. The way we are able to overcome the devil's defeating tricks is by pleasing the Lord. The Lord is pleased at the time we reference his word, Ecclesiastes 7.26. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets, and her hands as bands. Whoso pleases God shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her.